53 year old mother of two is dead after being shot by her own brother on Christmas Eve. Abriel Baldwin was trying Darkest. to break up an argument between her siblings when one. Darkest and Demarcus. Jesus Christ. And they got the same last name, which I was surprised by, but yeah. not Darkest and Darkerest. So that seems like, you know, a lost opportunity. Wow. What a what a tragic story this is. Man. I saw that joke somewhere. I didn't make that up. After being shot by her own brother on Christmas Eve, Abriel Baldwin was trying to break up an argument between her siblings when one of them pulled out a gun. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank reports on what has the sheriff furious and the changes he is now calling for. Photos Abriel Baldwin posted to social media show her filled with joy. She's just a woman going about life, doing her thing uh, with her two kids, trying to make a living, trying to make it. On Christmas Eve, while at her grandmother's home on 22nd Avenue in Largo, she'd had enough of her brothers bickering. Demarcus and Darkus began pulling guns on one another. Abriel <laughs> At the grandmother's house. No kind of like sense of what you know what i'm saying like hey what if what if they would have shot grandma like what if they just shot one of the kids like they the, not the girl dropped the one-year-old in uh, uh nephew one month year old nephew so could have shot you know anybody oh she was holding the baby at the time who's, who's i mean this that? god damn fuck you man. like you got asthma or something man? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I was gonna say this uh, story just seems like you would see this as a parody on like, "Don't drink your juice," whatever that movie was. No, no, no. You would think like this is how they celebrate right. Christmas, yeah, darkest, and it's darkest, actually real. Me? Yeah, this is definitely a, a goddamn skit, man. This is Demarcus some crazy and shit. Darkus began pulling guns on one another. Abriel told Demarcus. Quote, you all need to leave that stuff alone. Why are you trying to start it? It's Christmas. They both had been fighting over Christmas presents, with the 15-year-old Darkish jealous that their mom had spent more on gifts for 14-year-old Demarcus. After Abriel stepped in, Demarcus pulled... These are 15 and 14-year-olds pulling out guns at Grandma's house. They both are strapped. They both got their guns. And they both are ready to kill each other. So what does that mean for the rest of us? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what if you bumped into this kid and, and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you inconvenienced him as a stranger, as a, you know what I'm saying? Like, or, 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 or told him he gave me like, hey, you have to leave this place. It's not, or, you know, just telling him something or giving him a directive in public. If he'll shoot his brother yeah, at grandma's house. You're a hair's breadth away from being killed at the gas station by one, <laughs> either one of these. Over Christmas presents, with the 15-year-old Darkish jealous that their mom had spent more on gifts for 14-year-old Demarcus. After Abriel stepped in, Demarcus pulled a gun and fired, killing her and sending her son and his nephew, an 11-month-old, falling to the ground. Then... Darkus pulled his own gun and shot Demarcus, leaving him badly injured. This proliferation of guns on the streets and guns. It's not a proliferation of guns, Pathetic. man. Pathetic. It's them. Yeah, it's them. It has nothing to do with the proliferation of guns, man. Nothing. This has nothing to do with guns. Or any kind of like law, gun law. These kids didn't get their fuck. He fourteen and fifteen. You think they got their gun from the gun shop? So he shot his other brother. Man, you killed my sister, bam. He probably tried to kill him. Oh, no, not probably. Definitely, if he was going to kill him over the mom spending more on gifts, he would have definitely was trying to kill him over killing his sister. It was on site then. Yeah. And his nephew, an 11 month old, falling to the ground. Then, Darkus pulled his own gun and shot Demarcus, 
leaving him badly injured. This proliferation of guns on the streets and guns in this area and guns in the hands of these kids this is the worst I've ever seen. I don't think we've ever seen it this bad. The sheriff says the area around 22nd Avenue in Largo has been subject to extra patrols lately, with 13 gun-related incidents since September. He says his office has gotten reports of 17 guns stolen from unlocked cars. Oh, hold on, man. We got 157 likes, man. Come on, guys, man. Just 157 likes, man. We should have we should be at 250 by now, man, at least, man. We two hours into the show almost. We should at least be at 250 now. Like, come on, man. Hit the like button, man. Smash it if you haven't. When Largo has been subject to extra patrols lately, with 13 gun-related incidents since September. He says his office has gotten reports of 17 guns stolen from unlocked cars. He suspects the guns used in this shooting were obtained that way. And people so here's the thing. Here's the thing. We all know what's going to happen. So they've gone from here. They've gone from these two, right, to guns, the proliferation of guns being a problem, to people, um, 17 guns in the area being stolen out of people's cars. So now the only variable you can control but you can't really knock them for going after because they can't control any other variable other than the people leaving their car their their guns in their car so that's who they're going to go after over these fucking sun turds killing their sister at their grandmother's house <laughs> but i don't i don't think I don't think they're done with that yet because it's going to be the reason why they're stolen from those cars is because some teens don't have jobs. And the reason why they don't have jobs is because of systemic racism and systemic racism is white people's fault. Don't forget that. Oh, yeah. They feel like they have to protect themselves. Oh, yeah. It's, not definitely. It's, it's going to definitely end up in white people's butt. He suspects the guns used in this shooting were obtained that way. And people can't leave their car doors unlocked and leave their guns in their cars got to stop further the sheriff says both juveniles you can tack on that black people will take them and that's why you can't leave them in there i mean we, what, what's wrong there's like he's he's treating us like we're fucking kindergartners which you know maybe isn't totally fair there could be definitely a lot of umbridas out there taking these guns too from Yo, the these kids these guys one was born in um May of um of um twenty two thousand and nine, and other boy was born in January. So these are basically like Irish twins, man. Mama was a fast mover, and <laughs> and they look like they got different daddies, man. Uh, yeah, that's the mom's last name. And the way I see it is, this shooting. if um, if Ralphie didn't shoot up that entire family after having to wear that damn bunny suit, these kids should have no excuse for shooting up their family. Mm. Took the, the Red Rider and spun on his family. Leave their car doors unlocked and leave their guns in their cars. It's got to stop. Further, the sheriff says both juveniles have been let off the hook too easily by the juvenile justice system particularly DeMarcus, who has a history of violence against school staff oh, and law enforcement. The sheriff is... What do you know? <laughs> no way we could have predicted that. <laughs> oh, man. History of violence, man. Yeah. Wow. Different, man. These people are different. <laughs> Too easily by the juvenile justice system, particularly DeMarcus, who has a history of violence against school staff and law enforcement. The sheriff is calling for tougher laws. They are not getting the consequences that they should get that keep them from doing it again and again and again. Abriel was only 23, and now her kids, an 11-month-old and a 6-year-old, will have to grow up without her.
Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 I guess News. this was like the very first moment that they realized that Darkus and DeMarcus had guns and like that they had stolen guns and they were doing out there committing wrong in the community, right? So like, uh, you know, they, they, they can't be held responsible for any of this. They're totally innocent. Hey, I got a question. How does a family move forward? After something <laughs> happened, great hey, that is. A, I was thinking that man, like, yo, I mean, like, you got one daughter who's dead, like, headshot in front of everybody, bleeding out under the Christmas tree. You got another brother who's gravely injured. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then you got another brother who's. Um, in in jail, but this one's they're both going to jail, but one's in the hospital waiting to go to jail, and the other's in jail. And you know that being 14 and 15, that like they'll be home by their 18, and their kid her kids always will know that uncle Unc, or uncle Darkus or Uncle Demarcus killed mommy. And that the son's stated reason for the massacre uh, was um, mom spent too much money on my brother, which maybe mom. makes sense because they're from different dads, you know, like maybe there's a deep seated resentment here that we're not, you know, immediately picking up on. But think about the mom, though. I mean, they might have same dads. I don't know. But the thing about the mom, think about the mom. The mom. All three of her kids, or I'm sure she probably has more, but say these are the only three kids she has. Like, she woke up that morning, you know, with two hoodlums that were, you know, getting into trouble and shit and all that stuff, but they weren't, they were free and they were alive. And an older daughter who, you know, had a couple of little pickaninnies, you know, but she was doing her thing, living her life, and everything was fine. She goes to sleep that night with this. Jeez, Christ. Blackistan put you in. I mean, if game. mom knew they were both strapped like that, she should have gotten them both PS5s. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know if mom knows it's just strapped. I think that, you know, mom just, a lot of hood moms, don't, like, they're, they're just not even women. Social, um, um, what do you call it? Um, awareness is not on 100. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're women. So this whole knowing and all that stuff, they just, they just she's just some broad. Probably, you know, he probably told mom, mom, oh, no, nah, I ain't got no gun, mom. It's a BB oh. gun. Yeah, like it's. Or oh, she sounds like she would say something like, uh, I don't care what y'all do in the streets, just don't bring that stuff in my house. Yeah, something like, something that. like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And. All right, so willful just, ignorance, then, uh, you know, much, much better. And, I mean, these kids are bad kids. Like, the, what they did and the fact that the sister, like, she tried to defuse it. She didn't call 911. She stepped in between and said, man, it's Christmas, y'all. Like, don't do that. <laughs> don't sh not shoot each other because y'all brothers. Don't shoot each other because it's Christmas. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News. DeMarcus has been charged with first-degree murder for shooting his sister. He's in the hospital and expected to recover. Darkus is charged with attempted first-degree murder and is in a mental health treatment.